Hey guys, this is Joe Tech from Joe Tech Tips. We're on Facebook and Twitter and Instagram. I had the opportunity to install Windows 7 on a 1950X Threadripper. So I had a request by a subscriber to do some benchmarks between Windows 7 and Windows 10. Heaven settings are DirectX 11. Quality is set to Ultra. Tessellation is set to Extreme. Anti-aliasing is set to 8X full screen mode at 1920 by 1080. Valley settings are DirectX 11. Quality is set to Ultra. And anti-aliasing is set to 8X full screen mode also at 1920 by 1080. I ran two other benchmarking utilities as well. Realbench 2.43 and Geekbench 4. You'll see the results at the end of this video. If you want to skip ahead, I'll have some more information in the description below. Just click on the number and go straight to that location of the video. Windows 10 has just seems to be sharper and clearer. I don't know, maybe it's me, but I just noticed that it's pretty impressive that the crispness of the images that are just being displayed, it's the same benchmark running on 7, but 10 for some reason has the ability to make it look so much cleaner and crisper. Pretty impressive, actually. Look at that. Look at the stone detail. That's crazy. <laughs> that looks awesome has a lot to do with Windows 10, I'm sure. Not sure if you're aware, but the primary graphics card is a GTX 980 Titanium for the win. That has six gigs of memory on it, in case you don't know. There is an RX 580 in the system, however, that is not used for this benchmark. It just happens to be in the system at the same time. The system has 32 gig of 3000 megahertz memory of timing of 13, 14, 14, 33. And obviously the 1950X Threadripper, 16 core, 32 threads. All settings are identical from either Windows 7 to Windows 10 during every benchmark. Everything was duplicated to the T. I'm actually very impressed with the detail quality that Windows 10 gives. I just, I'm very impressed with it. I mean, Windows 7 is great too, but 10 really stands out. The Valley benchmark is pretty impressive as well. Just wait until you see the differences between the two. You really can't see too much difference in terms of frames per second between the two. Sometimes Windows 7's in the lead, sometimes Windows 10's in the lead. But it's actually pretty impressive that, <laughs> that they're almost identical. Um, some points you do see Windows 10 taking the lead, 
but the majority is pretty darn close. The only real difference would be the, the sharpness and the, the clarityness of, of the images that Windows 10 produces within the same benchmark, which is mind-blowing. It's the same benchmark, same graphics card, same everything, but for some reason, Windows 10 just seems to be sharper, cleaner, crisper. Very weird. What's more crazy is that I would probably would never have noticed or realized it unless I did this benchmark and had them upper and lower. If I didn't have them next to each other like this, I probably would never even realize it, to be honest with you. This is the first time I'm actually noticing it. And it's only because of this type of benchmark. Otherwise, I wouldn't, I wouldn't have known. Because I was like, it's just, you know, it's the same thing, it's the same thing. It's not. Holy crap, it's totally different. You can clearly see, look at it, look at this view. 10 looks so much better than 7. This is crazy. It is just absolutely breathtaking. Even though this is graphics, looking at them between Windows 10 and Windows 7 is just unbelievable. It looks like almost like the HDR or the high diamond, high dynamic range and high the high dynamic lighting is just different on, on 10. I'm sorry, but I, I'm in awe right now. I apologize. I never would have noticed unless I had them like this. <laughs> This is crazy. Hope you're enjoying this video. If you like it, please give me a thumbs up. If you're not a subscriber, please subscribe. We're not done yet, but I just thought I'd throw that in there. This is really cool stuff, man. Really cool stuff. Creative Labs iRaw. Plug it in like like this. The inside of this is really impressive. 100A in the Prius. The AC adapter, one amp charger, and it's big, and it's made out of aluminum. Okay, as you can see, the backup is complete. Like so. Now you can create the RAID array. I mean, for the, for the price difference between the two,